I'm standing in front of a group of mature rhododendrons, and they've just finished their flowering cycle, so it's the perfect time to do a kind of pruning called deadheading. And what that means is we're going to be removing the spent flower heads. And you can see that they're spent because they have some of the uh, spent flowers that are still hanging on uh, the flowering structure. And this is a pretty simple uh, pruning exercise to do, and for it, you don't need any special tools. You're going to use tools that you already have, which are your fingers, your thumb and your forefingers. And these are one of the most important pruning tools you have. The way you do this is you look at the base of the flowering structure, and you'll see that there are small vegetative buds right at the base of the flowering structure. Now, we don't want to remove these because those buds will be what grows during the current season producing new leaves and what we hope is additional flowers because by removing the flower structures, we're not going to have the plant direct ener any energy whatsoever into making seeds. So again, it's a real simple uh, pruning motion. You just grab it with your thumb and forefinger and twist it off. And there you have the spent flower and there you have the nice vegetative buds which are still left on. Now we're going to move from flower to flower and once you get the hang of this it's actually very easy to do. You kind of don't even have to look at it that closely because the flower will pull off. Uh, flower structure will pull off quite easily. And uh, don't worry too much if you still have a couple of flowers that haven't bloomed yet. The odds are as you're moving throughout the garden and doing your pruning exercises you know you want to do it at a time where most of the flowers are gone because odds are by the time you get back to this, the seed production will have already started and maybe really too late to do a great job. Also, these buds are going to break and you're going to push out a lot of new leaves and it'll be kind of confusing to separate the flowering structure uh, from the new vegetative growth. And also, don't worry too much if you accidentally pull off a vegetative bud or two or even a leaf. On a mature plant, uh, such as the ones we're working on today, uh, these plants are going to make hundreds of flowers and they're going to push out a lot of new growth, so one or two buds, three or four buds is not going to really matter. Now we've got with us a number of uh, extension professionals who are going to come in and help us finish the job and we'll take a look at uh, the end, end result uh, in a minute.